I was thinking about it. You want to take a grinder to my shiny flatbed? Because the uh, fuel nozzle needs to be relocated. Welcome to the channel, everybody. My name's Sam. This is my buddy, Austin. You got your grinder or your hole saw or a hammer? I got a stick of dynamite. Oh, a stick of dynamite. That'd be good for your truck, not this one. The location of this bad boy is the fuel's got to go in and then go a long stretch fuel tank, which is back there. It's got to go around this toolbox. It just fills up with fuel before it gets to the tank. It can't gurgle back. The vent's clean. And I got rid of the check ball in there. I even swapped out the spout for a second gen one that I know that works good. But the angle is just too flat. So what my plan here tonight, which entails the hole saw, or I don't know if I'll go this route and do a square hole or just hole saw it. But I'll go right here because then it's just pretty much a straight down shot. And then the 90 that goes into the tank. That way I know it'll work because when I fuel up the off-road pump, I can stretch the on-road big rig pump to fit this. But the only way I can make it happen, I've tried all kinds of different stuff, is I got to put it on level one and flip it upside down. So it sucks. See what I'm working with up there? I mean, it's got a kink in it right now. I tried to maneuver it on top of the spring leaf bolt, but uh, no luck. I've been fighting it for like a year. And somebody recommended doing this a while back, so I'm just going to knock it out, among other things. Delete the uh, little toolbox on the L tank and actually hook the pump up. That's what we're going to do tonight. What are you going to do to your boat? Just make sure everything works so I don't get stuck out on the lake. You got your paddle oar? No, I got a little plastic one. You got your feet too? That's for the guests. <laughs> yeah. They get out and swim. Oh, I'm thinking hole saw. I put that on there just for funny. Truck doesn't have def, never had def, but it's funny. Yeah, I guess you could go right there. You know. So I'll just loosen this up, take the 90, spin it over there, and drill a hole right there with the hole saw. Weld a little mount for the spout to go in, and just be done with it. I really didn't want to do that, but I don't think we got any other option because it just... Like that's as straight as a shot as I can get and it, it still doesn't work. It just builds up fuel in there and then it kicks the uh, the gun off, so. It'll cut it though. I, I drilled a hole out of my other bed with this one. Yeah, it should. Yeah, so this is four inch square and that's enough for that. And so, I guess so. yeah, it'll be something of the same nature, just right here on the back. Okay, so I'm gonna use this bad boy right here. This was off of that uh, green truck over there. It had a secondary tank on it, so it had two filler spouts. Uh, that's a stock one, and this would have been the secondary one. I thought about just making a hole saw just enough so this thing would fit in there and I could screw it right to the back, but it's not gonna give me much tilt, and I I don't know. I think that might cause a problem down the road, so I'm gonna put the uh, bigger hole saw in there and then cut a part of this bracket off or make a new one and uh, mount this thing in there so I'll have a tilted spout. But this one has a vent and everything that I need. Good to go. Success! Poor gun. The Harbor Freight hole saw bit. Two for two.
Dang, that's kind of cool. Well, what do you think? Work? This might be my masterpiece. Look pretty slick. I'm a fan. Diesel to the face. Ah, shit. Thanks, Paul. Man down. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead and give you the full gist of it. Uh, I did put that under the back of the truck trying to get the fuel away from the spout but <laughs> common sense dictated uh, it wasn't gonna join today I got a little diesel bath GoPro is diesel proof I'm glad I'm using the GoPro not my other camera but uh, I gotta recut that bad boy because she got a little kink to it oh come on light Well, I got us this far. Took ourselves a nice diesel bath. It is a pretty full tank, but I thought if I put the jack under the back, it would lift it up and keep it away from this end. But uh, I guess that fuel spout is kind of on the side of the tank a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing so that it'll fit. I got to use my new tool. We have progress. And we have had a diesel bath. I'll admit, I did have the bath. I'll leave it in there for you guys. What I was trying to do was to loosen this clamp uh, and just rotate the nozzle, the boot, and everything. But the, it was just barely grabbing on there. Pain in the butt. So I ended up deleting this whole thing because it had a coupler in the middle. And you can see this is the stuff that came with the truck, whoever outfitted this North Star bed to it. So I had a radiator hose. That's what this is, and it's held up better than what they put down here. So I'm going to put that in there right now. Uh, situation, tank is pretty full. Uh, obviously, it would have been better and way easier to avoid uh, the diesel bath if I hadn't done this with a full tank. But I got the bug to do this tonight, and we're making it happen. We spilled a little bit of diesel, but I got the new tube up on there. Five is Ryan Dungey, if you guys don't know. So five on everything. <sighs> Ended up taking, you know, the typical, a lot longer than you expect. We got her in there, she's plumbed. Now I just got two extra ones of these, I'm gonna put that back there. Then, we'll try her out. I still gotta take some other stuff off the truck. Probably won't even take the fuel tank off tonight. It's gotten kind of late. gonna try it without the toolbox on there it's a nice little L tank at this point still get my you know 75 gallons but when I'm looking over my shoulder anytime trying to look find a spot for the gooseneck that it's blinded in the mirror uh, this box was a big 
big blind spot. So I just remembered I got to throw in a jug of diff uh, for machine tomorrow. And we're done for tonight. Just throw this box out of the way. It's a late one, boys. Late one. Comment below what you guys been up to on the weekdays after work. Oh, got to get, get my straw, straw jug, throw it in there. Oh, got off at 3.30, left the job today. I did not get home until after 6. Running errands, doing crap. Oh. Had a quick bite to eat and then came down here to the shop, hung out with Austin. He almost broke his boat. It's Austin's bass tracker, if you guys didn't notice. He's over here working on it. He got himself a new trolling motor. Just checking out all his electronics. Rigging up a new fuse box up here in the front. But see you guys at the fuel station. Man. Right. Moment of truth to see if the big rig nozzle will work in my freaking flatbed because I put the insert nozzle in a different place. Let's see if it'll work. How about that? It works without having to flip it upside down. So, victory. I normally use where that guy was at. That way I can fill up the off-road at the same time. That old boy's got a fun job. Reason why I moved it farther to the back anyway, because it just didn't have a good shot of getting fuel down into the tank. Had to go around this toolbox. But my station here, I normally use this pump right here parked a truck on the back side of this tank and the off-road pumps on the other side that way I can fill both my tanks at the same time it makes life so much more convenient and the way this thing was set up before I couldn't even use the uh, the regular pump sometimes I had trouble getting it to work so now that I put it over there it works a little bit better all right this might give you a little better idea normally I leave the truck parked over there Put this into the back and then I get the big rig pump on the side there so having it on the back of the truck definitely helps out makes it a lot easier on me I was just gonna get I got four 500 gallon tanks at the house with stands and I was just gonna have those set up have these boys come out and fill them but they uh man we're going through so much fuel it's just not really worth it because i'm coming here i'm getting 100 gallons a day so it's like every five days i have to come back out to the house it's not really worth it so just keep coming up to the station design the truck around my fuel station get me another 75 gallons right now at least and on to the next one but i hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm drilling a four inch hole saw in the back of my 45 plus hundred dollar flatbed wasn't looking forward to that, but it's definitely made a lot better. Now I have three access points. <laughs> There's, look at this. <laughs> There's my phony one. There's the old stock one. And then the real one. So, somebody trying to steal some diesel out of my truck, they got to go through a couple different options. But, anyway, I think that's funny. <sighs> but... We were somewhat successful, but we'll see you guys in the next one. Like this video, comment below what you guys think about just drilling into a flatbed like this. I wish they would have designed it properly to fit um, getting the tank a little better than that. Done something different. But anyway, subscribe, like the video, comment, share the video, do a bunch of stuff, help promote the channel. BeBeltAndSun.com, buy yourself a hat. We're only at 35 gallons here. We got time to kill. <laughs> anyway, see you guys in the next one. Later. Thank you.